Hi friends, I own a bunch of aerogardens and I do hydroponic systems. I recently came across this Mars Hydro hydroponic system. I got this system for testing, but my review will be genuine and very practical. Let's unbox this and see how it stands compared to aerogarden. First thing is user manual. Let's check the warranty information. They are offering two years extensive warranty on all the lights. No further details, but I am hoping that they will replace the lights if they break. Here is the base. It has four buttons, power, time, and two grow modes. They are vegetables and fruits and flowers. Coming to timer, it has four options, 4 hour, 8 hour, 12 hour and 16 hour. I think this is really good because some plants like spinach doesn't need longer light. Next up is the bowl. It is 4 inches deep, 15 inches wide and 9 inches long. Here is the grow deck. It supports 12 pods and the spacing between pods is very decent. This grow deck has lots of holes for tags and support sticks. I don't like these holes at all. I do systems also has same design and I hate these holes. Even though they are very small, the light will still pass onto the water. When the light goes into the nutrition water, algae starts developing. So I prefer the grow deck to be sealed as much as possible. I need to cover these holes with some tape. Next up is the light panel. It is simple and straightforward to use. Now the accessories. Sponges, pod baskets, power adapter, domes, a cover and the water dispatching pipe. Inside the bowl is plain and simple. I like this clean design so that I can clean the bowl very easily. It has a transparent view to monitor the water level. Water capacity of this bowl is 6 liters. This system doesn't come with nutrients and seeds. So I am going to use my own seeds and nutrients. I will use either maxi grow or aerogarden nutrients depending on what I am going to grow. Here is the bowl setup. I just noticed these two vents on this grow deck. I don't know the purpose of these vents, but I don't like this kind of opening at all. I don't want the light going into the water. So I am going to seal these vents using some tape. Let's check the pods. It is not that stable. If the plant gets heavy and lean on one side, this pod will be lifted a little bit. But it won't be an issue for smaller plants like basil, spinach, etc. This is my aerogarden pod. Let's check if it fits. Oh no, it is not working. I wish they make the grow deck compatible with aerogarden pods. It is hard to find these baskets and sponges for these systems or they will be very expensive. But there are lots of third party accessories available in market for aerogarden for better prices. That's why I prefer these systems to be compatible with aerogarden pods. Anyways, it is what it is. It is assembling time. Here is the base. Place the bowl. Install the light stand. Then the light panel. That's it. Here is another issue I am just noticing. The gap between the grow deck and the light panel is about 11 inches. This is definitely an issue. Seedlings will get leggy with this huge gap. I wish it starts from 3 inches. But if the light is strong, this may not be an issue. Let's see how it will turn out. Overall, this system is designed well except two issues that I called out earlier. Number one is the unnecessary holes on the grow deck. And the number two is the huge gap between light panel and the grow deck. Rest is all good. 
First, I will be testing this system with a short crop like radish. Then I will test again with long crop like tomatoes. I will keep you posted on the progress. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Happy hydroponic growing.